Greetings, this is Lord Virtualis, and I'm doing something that I probably haven't done in, like, ages. Just play the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. So, this has probably been world, well, not world famous, but it's been internet famous. Because of the good old, uh, the nerd being, uh, pretty much raging at the, at this. I think it was his third episode, so yeah, it was pretty up, pretty up there. And pretty much all his points were pretty much good valid, because I have played this myself, and this is going to actually be a fun run, because I haven't actually beat this without Game Genie, so... And it is one of those rage games, so you might see me raging a few times. Oh yeah, that's going to be fun. Especially seeing how it's about 2.30 in the morning. And I got people sleeping around here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Okay, so basic controls. I don't know. We got four turtles, so you control them. And uh, I play Leo because mostly he has mid good mid range. His weapon is okay. And all the rest of them, except for good old Donnie, is they're pretty much useless. So that's pretty much it. So you got sub weapons which uh, are dropped by enemies, those are the ninja stars. And uh, they do a little bit more damage than normal. Ooh, there you go. So we got Bebop. Easily took down by ninja stars. If you don't have, I'd say use Donnie on him. Because, well, he has the super overpowered miss, actually. I'm going to switch him right now. Nope. Nope. Oh yes, you gotta love the lag in this. This is because there's so much shit going on in the screen. Oh yeah. So this is the pointless house where you actually just get a pizza in it. And... Well, there's not much to go on. Pretty much what you see is what you get. There's not much to do with the Ninja Turtles here, except for maybe the odd boss. Like, you got Bebop and Rocksteady in the first. You're not supposed to be here. What are you doing? But pretty much everything else, you might see Mausers, and I think there's the Rat King. Oh jeez, I'm not good. Not good. Not good. I hate these guys. Just because they're annoying. I have no idea what they are. They're just annoying. That's what they are. Okay, let's... Oh, I can counter you. Oh yes. Okay, so... I used to be very stingy with my weapons, but now I'm like, um, I might as well use them before I die, basically. I do have to say, the... Out of all the sub-weapons, I used to go with the level 3, or start in level 3, these, like, this kind of, like, half-moon crescent thing. And I thought that was the strongest weapon, but in actual fact, it's the actual boomerang. The boomerang is, like, fucking insanely overpowered in this. And he's gonna respawn. Yes, you gotta love the Nintendo and its respawn ability. Oh my god, it is insanely. You just move like a frame out of it, and the enemies respawn. And I think these are bullets, even though they look like some kind of bird. I always thought they were some kind of bird. Oh jeez, this is not a good. This is not good. I always take too much damage in here. And I go to say this pretty much for nothing. There's not really anything. That's not an invincibility thing. So you take that, you kind of go here, and you just... Kinda, it's like an invincibility thing. And he's dead. And I got more... Ninja Stars. Okay, that might come in handy. Of course, it's... the Getting random weapons in this is totally based on RNG. So... Well, I think, anyway. There might be some way to manipulate it, but... Other than that, don't really need to actually- oh jeez, oh, I hate those guys. Alright, okay, get you. Alright, so I need life very much. Unfortunately, if I, well fortunately, uh, there's life right here. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want Flame Man to get me. So you can kind of manipulate the enemies. As you can tell, the enemies are kind of like on a rotation, like there's a certain group of enemies 
skill certain things. I think in the first stage there's at least three, maybe four. Yeah, there's four, actually. Do we need any rats? No, we don't. There's like four groups of enemies in like the first one. In um, total, I think there's four or five. There's more ninja stars. What is with the ninja stars, man? There's more than ninja stars. There's like tri-star and uh, boomerangs and I'm trying to think what else. Actually, I think that might be it. Actually, that's probably something I'm missing. There's the moon, but you do, you don't actually get that from enemies. There's the stars and tri-star. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going up here. Pretty easy forward stage. And here's the other one, which doesn't actually change at all throughout this place. And that's also another thing with the changing of like enemy chain enemy groups, is that they change pretty much at will. Like you might be just killed the last enemy on the screen and then the next enemy is like a different group. And I, I believe this might be the Rat King. Well, he looks like the Rat King. Who knows if he is. God know if this game actually makes sense. There's like, only like a handful of enemies that are actually- Oh, he went down. Well, you can go commit suicide if you want. It's absolutely fine with me. And here we go with some good old Roxy. I'm not gonna cheap him out. I don't need to. Especially if I have the Ninja Star. Well, if I had the Boomerang, that'd be better. And he jumps, and he's dead. Oh, maybe not. He's dead now. So yeah, if not, you go on the blocks and you just use Donatello, and you kind of have to hit him when he he's kind of jumping. But no, he, you don't look like you're going to hit him. It works like that, I have no idea. Sure, 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 you have my, you have my support. I'm sure, April. Perhaps you should get a better bra, you know, better support. Actually, maybe I'll get a bra and maybe I'll actually get better support. You're like, no, like... It's gonna make a Metal Gear reference, like, better than mailing. Which you say, actually, I'd see April as a, like a saving person. If this was ever, like, you know... You know, if they did a turtle game, like, Metal Gear. April was saving, yeah, I, I think that the mailing is probably more... Gives you more support than than April, so I want to trade that bra in again. All right, half pizza, dude. Stop multiplying. Yeah, there's this odd thing where sometimes you hit enemies and they get destroyed, but the model does not go away. So you gotta actually hit it again. So I don't know what the hell is with the chainsaw guy here. And, but, uh, well, they actually, the greatest thing is that the chainsaws don't hit you. You can actually pretty much go where the chainsaws are. But it's the actual physical being. Like, the hit boxes in this are just wonky. That's all I can say. Alright. See, I'll just, like, go so... I'll have him cut. Oh, he's cutting through me. Woohoo! <laughs> That's just crazy shit, man. Seriously. Alright. I really don't know exactly. I'm probably going to pass this stage and that's it. I don't know if this is going to be a thing because I have... Seriously, I have not passed this game. It took me... Fuck, man. I don't even know. Like, how long is this? I remember playing this. I got this and I'm like so freaking excited. It's like, what the freaking... Like I said, the, what the nerd actually said was true. Seriously. Got the game, because I love Ninja Turtles. And... Played it. And everything was fine up to the third stage, and the third stage just made me fucking rage quit so many times. And I finally got through the, <laughs> the third stage. And... That... Oh, fantastic. I actually... Here's a trick. I actually went on Donatello. So if you want to get the boomerangs, get the boomerangs. You do the boomerangs, do three of them, because you actually you switch them. And the boomerangs actually 
come back, you get them. You get them back, so you can reuse them. And if you do that, you can actually change turtles with them and put them on a different turtle. So I want Donnie to have the, the boomerangs because the boomerangs are severely overpowered. So, and I have a feeling I'm going to actually fall because the jumps in this are ridiculous. Oh my god, the freaking! The, oh my god, the jumps in this! I have no idea. They're gonna be fucking something interesting to deal with. All right, there we go. Okay, so. Here, I'm probably going to fall like that. And guess what? I have to fall that all the way back again. Seriously. And guess what? The enemies respawn. Ugh. Luckily, I don't have to go too far and I don't have to go up here. Okay, go away. Luckily, about those, like, guys that shoot, like, goo. Crescent and Moon Goose, when you get close to them, they just like shrink up again. We got that out. There we go. Okay, so yeah, the jumps are crazy in this. Booyah. And those guys hurt you, and we go down to the dam. I have no idea. Now this part, I, I actually fucking hated this when I was... The swing controls are so... <laughs> so wonky. And I have actually, I did a run, one well, run, I just did a, I guess a practice run earlier today. Because I was wondering, oh jeez, oh jeez, I need to go up here, I totally forgot what I was doing here. So pretty much everything except for your bombs, which, oh yeah, you're pretty much saving the dam from bombs because they're going to blow. That's pretty much the point of this, so... Pretty much everything in this hurts you. And hurts you pretty much for one square of damage. One. Precisely one. So you got a total of pretty much eight hits. You gotta rapidly hit that button to actually swim. Instead of actually going just holding the button, which would be make a little more sense. Oh come on. Okay. Okay, the next part is absolutely... Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Damn it. And the hit. The invincibility frames are non-existent in this. There's, like, no invincibility frames, which are really there. And here's the thing that just everyone hates. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. No way. Well, there's probably a way to get through there without getting hit, but... God, if I know. Never a. It's probably good to actually switch turtles instead of dying because getting turtles back are, is a pain in the ass. So you definitely want to just kind of switch turtles until you get pizza. Damn it. Misjudged. Okay. Holy cow. Well, you start also on a timer here, too, so if you don't move your ass, you're going to lose the stage. And I think it's pretty much a game over and you, you need to continue. So, oh yes, I forgot the the good old spaghetti down there. He, uh, it's a one-shot, so you get tangled up and you get caught. You gotta know if what the Foot, Foot Clan find you in the spaghetti, but oh well, that's the last one. And I think the first time you actually get to rescue a turtle is in this one. So in area 3, which I'm pretty much going to just probably end up here. Here. I love it. love the English in this. It's like here. Oh my goodness. And also I liked how Shredder's hand kind of like comes out of the TV. It seems like he's actually like in the TV. I always found that kind of interesting. And this is... I always thought it's like, interesting, it's like, you must destroy the Foot Clan. Okay. I say back when I actually did that, I was like, okay, I have to take on like every single guy from there and pretty much do that. And uh, no, you just have to pass stage three, that's it. 
So this is the map that's absolutely insane. So I'm going to cut it off here and we'll, we'll come back later on. So thank you for thank you for watching this train wreck in, a, in progress because it's not yet. It's this one and the next one and the next one and the next stage after that. That's going to be insanely raging. So until then, this has been Lord Virginus saying farewell and good night.